So students, let us see the last case of velocity time graph. And in this case, it is given that when the body is moving at a certain velocity or speed, this body is moving with a certain velocity or speed. You can see that at zero time, the velocity is 10 meter per second. Means the body is initially moving with 10 meter per second speed or velocity. So suppose this vehicle applies brakes or retards. That means this line is falling downwards. Why? Because its velocity or speed is decreasing. Remember that whenever there is a line, inclined line, a straight line or inclined line falling or increasing, the body is either retarding or accelerating uniformly. Okay. So see, initially they were traveling with 10 meter per second and it is retarding and finally at point uh, after 5 seconds, the velocity became zero. Okay. So what will be the acceleration? We know that acceleration is V minus Q upon T. What is the final velocity? That is 10. Sorry. The final velocity is 0. And its initial velocity is 10. Means for pehle se 10 meter per second ki speed se chal raha tha. So, humne yaha pa U ko 10 liya hai. Aur V kya hai aapki? Final velocity kitni ho gai? That is 0. So, 0 hai. 0 minus 10. Aur time kya hoga? Time interval to wo hi rahega. 5 minus 0 because final velocity is 0 hui, 5 seconds so 5 minus 0 and minus 10 upon 5 will be minus 2 meter per second square it means this shows that uh, the body is under retardation that is why this is a negative acceleration and, uh, and the, what is the value minus 2 meter per second square so we should we are familiar how to calculate the distance and displacement I have earlier also in the previous examples I explained to you that the distance and displacement can you find out with the help of as it is looking like a right angle triangle so the formula will be half base into height what is the base that is 5 you can see and what is the height that is 10 okay height is 10 and the base is 5 okay so in this way we can find out the distance and displacement which is 25 meter and this is the last case uh, based on non-uniform motion and here the speed time in the speed time graph the the Velocity is the velocity or the speed is increasing non uniformly. Non uniformly means you know that whenever the velocity or speed uh, is increasing with unequal amounts. Okay, so you know that non uniform speed kya hota hai, non uniform velocity kya hota hai? when whenever a body is traveling a certain distance and it is covering unequal displacement or unequal distance in equal intervals of time. Okay, so you can see that your graph is going up and up. Okay, and you can see velocity increase ho non uniformly. So, dada yahan par hai. To is wajeh se slope kya aega? Positive aega. Because badi final value kya ho rahi hai? Zada hai initial value ke mukabale. Thik hai na? Okay, so every step the slope is positive. That is because the velocity is increasing. And similarly here the velocity is decreasing. So, slope will be negative. And here the velocity and speed is decreasing non uniformly. So, it is non uniform retardation. And this is non uniform acceleration. Okay. So, uh, in the next video, we will be discussing about uh, how to find out the how to derive the uh, equations of motion, uh, which are based on these explanation of these graphs only. So, please uh, uh, understand it, clear your concept of our graph very clearly before watching the equations of motions. Thank you very much.